Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jade Empire. It's me, Soda, and some we, aka Soda, and we're back where we last left off, which was right here at the crash site after we had escaped the uh, iron grip of the Death Hand or the Lotus Assassins. I think, what are they called? The Lotus Assassins? I can't remember now. So, yeah, in the last episode, a lot was going on. We ended up finding Dawnstar, as you can see. Uh, but the village got burned down. They stole Master Lee, and now we're on the run, and our flyer crash landed in the middle of nowhere. So now we gotta find something called the Sky Map, or a flyer, or we just have to, I think, go on foot. So we'll see what we'll see what goes on here. But let's talk to Sagacious Zoo. Seems like a while since we've talked to everybody. Make your way south across the bridge and onto Tien's Landing. Okay, well, I guess he didn't really have much to say. I thought this was going to be more like Mass Effect, where <laughs> you could have conversations with your uh, pals here, but I guess not. Alright, well, I guess real quick, let's do some leveling up. Alright, let's level up our character. Let's see here. I think last time we, we went, we put a lot in mind, right? Or a lot in spirit, I think. So this time around, I feel like here lately we've been using a lot of the staff, but I don't know, that might change up here soon once we start getting into a, a bigger variety of enemies. For now, let's go ahead and put one into body. Let's, you know what, let's just put it all across the board. Let's just make it even. Alright, we have the five style points. See, I haven't used the toad demon style yet. I might substitute the Toad Demon style for the Dire Flame, but I don't know. For now, let's put a little bit more into the Golden Staff. Well, we got five, right? We gotta be careful how we use them now, because as you can see, as it goes up, it takes a lot more. So you know what? I might actually just want to go for a more balanced... And I might just go one on all these, which will give me two to use, which I will use on the Golden Star. And on this one, I think I'm going to use the Speed Increase. Yes. Alright, let's remap this. Let us put... Oh, we can put it actually on five. I didn't even realize that. We have all the way up to zero. Not bad. Alright, I think that's it, right? Why is Dawnstar? Oh, yeah, she is there. Alright, let me see. Dawnstar support recovers your chi. Oh, that's not bad. Dawnstar's attacks can damage spirits. Dawnstar's magical sensitivity gives her added insight into the world around her. In battle, she cuts swiftly with her long sword. I might actually go back to putting um, Zoo, but we're going to roll with Dawnstar this time around and see see how she fares. Do, do you feel that? No. Something is here. Something that hates the living. <laughs> Something that hates the living. I hate the living. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, there's nothing around here. Oh, whoa. These guys came out of nowhere. Alright, let's try to use the Toad style this time around. See what, see what we can do. Dire flame. Nope, Toad style. Change the Toad style. Toad demon form. Oh, whoa. Wow. Okay, that uses up a lot of chi. We're having a vision. You fell from the sky, but despite the maddened spirits here, you will benefit. A spirit monk was here long ago, fleeing the destruction that orphaned you. He carried a piece of your amulet, 
It was separated, broken apart so your enemies could not find it easily. You have the first piece. It trains your abilities now. The second piece fell here with its minder, hidden until waters receded. A guardian protects it, waiting to test and serve you. The third piece awaits discovery in a distant lair. These three pieces are physical, but there is one more. It cannot be found, only earned. This final piece is all that will save you in the end. Are you alright? You fell over after the fight. There was something here, but I couldn't see it clearly. Oh, I had a vision. A vision of the same creature I saw in the spirit cave in the school. You saw a vision? Strange that I could not make it out. Strong spirits are usually quite clear to me. Please tell me if you have any more. We shouldn't stay here. It, it isn't safe. There's so much pain and suffering in this place that I can barely think. What did Zeus say again? A clearing near Tien's Landing across the bridge in South? Sounds simple enough. Lead the way and I'll follow. Yes, ma'am. All right, so clear that toad. I didn't realize. You know, I kind of thought. When I got the toad spirit or the toad form, I th I kind of figured that it was gonna be like a transformation thing, but I didn't realize how much chi that thing uses. Jam. I mean, look at that. We almost ran out of all of our chi, and I don't think there's a chi fountain around here. At least not one that I can see yet. There's probably gonna be something around here that'll help us. Some sort of chi. What is that? What's that glowing thing over there? Alright, so that, that spirit lady said something about we gotta get three things. Oh, whoa. You know what I don't like about this fighting style? You gotta get really close. Like, really close. Oh no, I'm frozen. Dawnstar, help me! I, I don't know if all the fighting styles are like that, where you have to get that close, but... This one, you definitely gotta get really close. Hey, we got a chief out in here. Oh, we got two ways to go. We can go that way. We can go that way. Hmm. Alright, we got some enemies right there. Right off the bat. Let's check out over here. Is it a monkey? I just saw something. Where, where is the bones? It says bones. But I don't see them. Oh, they're there. They always put the bones in like the grass so that you can't see it very well. Hello, monkey boy. Do these monkeys serve a purpose, or is it just like aesthetics? Look, there's something over there. Some sort of glowing orb. And then there's another glowing orb in that guy's hand. Alright, clearly we can't do anything right here yet. Enemies! Staff! Ultimately, I just find myself using the staff because it just has such a long range. The only time the thousand cuts works is when I put them in a corner. Dude. 
she sucks. <laughs> Look at how much health she has already. Dire flame. You're dead. Dawnstar is not very good, I'm not gonna lie. You should get going to Tian's landing. Zeus said it was through a bridge into the south. Okay, so clearly you can't just talk to the characters in this game. I thought there was something where you could do that. Maybe that's when we get to the Imperial City. Because I know there's like romance options. Bamboo cast. Where is that? Where is it seeing that? No, right here. Hopefully it's not a trap. Let me guess. More enemies. A bunch of spirits. Oh no, it's that assassin lady. Stop where you are. Death's hand should know better than to send his minions out alone. It is oh. clear that you are one of his hirelings, or perhaps one of Gao the Greater's marauding pirates. You will pay for the crimes you have committed. Are you serious? I do, I do not follow Death's Hand. Don't waste your last breath on lies. I didn't get there in time to help anyone, but I saw you lead the massacre in two rivers. Clearly you were involved. Death's hand went too far in ordering its destruction, and Gao the Greater sought to profit from it. My retribution will end with them, but it will begin with you. Oh, whoa. She, she didn't even want to talk about this. She was just surefire about her. She just already had her convictions, and she was like, you know what? These guys are wrong. Death will be your release. Oh, don't let her heal. Got him. Enough. The way you move seems odd. A flaw I cannot see, perhaps? But you are better than I expected. You might even beat me if I allowed such insolence. You are too skilled to be just a hireling. Death's hand would view such ability outside his assassins as dangerous. And Gao the Greater prefers his servants docile. Okay, why do you think that we're anything like this? I'm not in league with Gao or the Lotus Assassins. So it would appear. You lack their branding. But if you are not one of them, who are you? A monk? A mercenary? A bandit? Yes. You chase a great evil, larger than you realize. Leave and you may survive. Others have tried to face Death's Hand, but were destroyed, as Two Rivers was. This is why I must face him, to avenge the death. Wait. I will pursue them both. I am not afraid. <laughs> why does this one give me the angry face? Alright, this is why I must face him. Your honor sends you toward peril, but you do not flinch from it. A trait of fools, and perhaps the occasional hero. I also seek answers from Death's Hand and his minions. If you truly oppose him, you will need to find your way to the Imperial City. Of course, only the Lotus Assassins can come and go as they please, thanks to Gao. Travel routes by land and water are blocked, but they use wind maps and flyers to further their goals here and in the surrounding forest. We know this. Perhaps, if you are capable, we will meet again. I wish you good luck, but you will need far more than that to survive. Farewell. Sure, lady. I love it how she just, like, dropped down, tried to kick our ass, and then just dipped. And also, how did she get here? She was in the village earlier. What, did she, like, run all the way here? I don't think she has a flyer. Maybe she does. Okay, so this is the fish rock. So I think we have, what, two ways to go here? Are those enemies over there? Are those dogs? Oh, <laughs> they're not even dogs. They're goats. Oh, but these are definitely enemies. Enemies. 
All right, I'm almost out of focus, and I'm almost out of... Oh, this is going to be a trap, isn't it? Nope. Just two silver, though? Really? This area is off limits. Intruders will be executed. Oh, wow. Who are you? I am a soldier of the Imperial Army, sent by Death's Hand to destroy anyone foolish enough to enter this place. Unfortunately, this includes you. Kill the peasant. Oh, wow. What was the point of even having the dialogue? Oh, they're pretty weak, though. Dawnstar, what are you doing? It's like she doesn't even know how to fight. Oh, whoa, that was a, a super lag right there. She's burning! Wait, stop. I'm not your enemy. I, I swear by my ancestors, I'm not your enemy. I'm not even a soldier. Then why do you have that on? You wear the uniform of the Imperial Army. Let's just say... Who are you? My name is Chen Yi, from the village of One Stone. I'm no fighter, I'm just a simple peasant. These soldiers passed through my village a few weeks ago. One of them angered the Lotus Assassin who was in charge and the Assassin killed him. As I was coming back in from the fields, they grabbed me to fill his place. They put this uniform on me, blood stains and all, and told me I was in the army. Mm. <laughs> I have decided to let you live. That one looks... Is that one slightly angry? No. I don't believe you. Time to die. Wow. Thank you, noble one. You are most merciful, and I honor you. My whole family honors you. I want to ask you some questions. I... I will do my best. But I don't know anything. The Lotus Assassins just told us to guard the gate while they searched the ruins. That's all, I swear. All right. What were they searching for? I don't know. I was here on the far side of the gate, and the gate itself is locked. Only the Lotus Assassins themselves are allowed into the ruins. Do you know anything about these ruins? No, nothing. Only that the gate leading into them was locked. The Lotus Assassins had to get a key from Shang, the Imperial Minister in Tian's Landing. But I think... I think the ruins are haunted. I hear strange sounds coming from beyond the gates. But even the threat of ghosts can't keep the Assassins from their search. Hmm. Tell me about the Lotus Assassins. They are evil. Pure evil. They forced me to serve them. They would have killed me if I disobeyed. I had no choice but to guard this door while they searched the ruins. All right. Go, leave here, and never return. Of course, Great One. I will return to my village and lead an upright life of farming and praying. Thank you for sparing me. Thank you. You showed great compassion to that poor man. I am glad to see you can be merciful as well as strong. Thank you, Dawnstar. Every time I let somebody go, though, I have this weird feeling that for some reason they're just going to like come back later on and like kill us or something. Of course it would be trapped. I wish there's got to be like some sort of skill, right, that lets us know when something is trapped and something isn't. Silk strings? What is that for? Inferior Intuition Gem. I don't really think we needed that, but... You know, now that we have so many gems, let me check up on the gems that we have uh, equipped. Alright, that one gives you plus two intuition, plus two intuition. Intimidation, but we can't even use that one. Uh, gem of seductive power, plus two spirit, plus two charm. Only followers of the way of the closed fist can use this gem. 
People of the negotiable virtue can often be overwhelming in their advances. No small thanks for that go to this gem, nicknamed a woman's best friend. It gives the user power a courtesan curtis, <laughs> would kill for. A courtesan, courtesan would kill for. All are drawn to the power and passion of the wielder doing his or her every decadent bidding. We can put on the gentle persuasion, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, look at that. And we have one more slot to fill, so we can put on another one. Um, clearly we can't put in this one, because we, we're, we're not part of the way of the closed fist. So I guess we're just going to have to put another... I can't put it? Oh, I was double clicking it, I guess. All right, let me check my stats now. It looks the same. Dang, look at all that money we got. Nice. Uh, just taking a look here. You know, we should have bought all of the skills that uh, Crying Mountain or Laughing Mountain had in the village. Which, by the way, we didn't even get to see what happened to him. Or, you know know anything beyond there is something dangerous beyond these gates the spirits here are troubled evil i'm assuming we can't go in there right all right you will need a key to open this door all right so basically we have to go the way that we're supposed to go Tien's Landing. Well, that was quick. Ah, you found your way. Good. I decided there wasn't much point in staying with the flyer. It's not going to get much worse, in my opinion. Here. I salvaged this gem out of some sort of power source. I imagine you will have some use for it. Now that we're here, we should see if anyone knows anything about flyers. Maybe whoever is in charge of the town can help us get underway again. I will stay here at this new camp unless you need me. It seems like a good enough place to base ourselves out of. I love it how he decided to just leave after leaving, like, or after we left. Why didn't he just go with us? Why doesn't this game allow you to have two followers? Clearly, if you had two followers, though, I, I would assume the game would become so easy. I can't believe Two Rivers is gone. Oh, these are the moments where they talk to each other. The people there were the only family I've known. And now, they're all gone. I understand, Dawnstar, but the path you are on may lead to even darker places. You must prepare yourself. I don't want to think like that. We will set things right. We have to. She's right, Zoo. More killing won't bring our friends back. Hmm. <laughs> Look at the face. <laughs> All right. Obviously, we're going the, with, the, with the good path here, so... Returning your friends was never an option. But there are a great many more things that you can lose. Like you. Okay, so I'm guessing since the conversation ended there, they don't want to talk anymore. Is this supposed to be the village? I'm just doing a little bit of mild exploring. You never know what you can find. Clearly nothing around here though. Look at those graphics, baby. <laughs> That's what I call triple A gaming. Oh no. I don't want to go to the damn site. That's where we came from, right? Right, there's clearly nothing else around here. Let's just go to the village. Are these gravestones? 
They sure look like gravestones. Stranger, forgive me for being so forward, but if you are wise, you will turn around and leave this cursed and miserable town. Mother and I are getting out of this town. If you have any sense, you'll do the same. Hush, daughter. You must treat strangers with respect. Once we are outside of the town, we must be very careful with anyone, with everyone we meet. Uh, who are you? I am Yingfong, a simple villager. I have lived all my life here in Tian's Landing, but now I must take my daughter and venture out to the wilderness. It's sure to be more exciting than this dead place. Though impulsive, my daughter Fu Yao speaks truly. The great dam downriver has opened. The river is too low and treacherous for anyone to navigate. We are cut off from the empire. The people are starving and pirates terrorize the town. Our leader, Minister, uh, Minister Xing, seems powerless to do anything. So we chose to try our luck in the wilderness. Don't leave. Perhaps I can save the town. What good would running do? Why not find yourself a solution? Your cowardice endangers your daughter. Flee, peasant. <laughs> Whoa. Don't leave. Perhaps I can save the town. A noble sentiment, but one I respectfully fear will do little to help us. You don't know the whole story. Minister Xing would probably pay someone to close the dam, but nobody is brave enough to make the journey. There are dark things up there. Some claim it ghosts, trying to torment us. Some think it's pirates. I don't know. All I know is that there seems to be no way to get the great dam closed again. Alright, do you think things will be any better if you leave town? The wilderness is very dangerous, so you take the coward's path into the worst uh, dangers. Do you think things will be any better if you leave town? The wilderness is very dangerous. I thank you for your concern. Most people only look out for themselves in these such days, and days such as these, and these such days. I have heard of the dangers wild animals and worse men, pirates and slavers who swoop down in their flyers on wary travelers. Those pirates must be Gao the Greater's men. We know that he has holdings near here, and he has flyers. I have never heard of Gao the Greater, but pirates have terrorized this region for many weeks. Anyone wandering, wandering the wilderness knows they risk being caught by those slavers. Some believe there are even worse things in the wilderness, ghosts that torment the living. Still, it's better than sitting in Tian's Landing waiting to die. Why did the Great Dam open? If the dam is open, why is the river so low? Can you tell me more about the pirates? <laughs> Where's uh, Fu Yo's father? Alright, let's see. Why did the Great Dam open? I don't know. Minister Xing doesn't know. Nobody knows. But the town is dying, and I would rather try my luck out in the wilderness than stay here. If the dam is open, why is the river so low? The dam is uh, down river from us. When it was closed, the water backed up and drained very slowly, causing the level of the river to rise. Now that it is open, the water is flowing too fast and low where it flows at all. Most ships cannot weather it. The town is cut off. That is why we are leaving. Uh... Can you tell me more about the pirates? I haven't seen any myself, but they are there. I have friends who have seen them and others have disappeared. It is more than mere rumors. That's why I've chosen to take Fu Yao to the wilderness. At least there we will have a fighting chance. Where is Fu Yao's father? Is that kind of an insensitive question to ask? Just a little bit, huh? Life in a small town on the edge of the empire can be hard, and many people die old, untimely deaths. What more needs to be said on the subject? The survivors must carry on as best they can. Now, Fu Yao and I should be on our way. If we must brave the wilderness, I would rather do it with the sun still in the sky. 
Uh, all right. I will let you be on your way. Farewell, honored, tra honored traveler. If you must enter Tin's Landing, speak with Minister Shing in the town square. But a better plan would be to get away while you can. All right, well, there's really no other way that we can go, so... Those two are definitely going to die. Alright, so many people to talk to here. Out of our way, woman. In this town, we don't step aside for you. You step aside for us. <laughs> Edgy. The peasants of this village may cower before you, but I do not. If you are smart, you will apologize for your behavior and walk away. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you think I won't hit a woman? You have to learn your place. This whole town has to learn its place. What are you looking at? This doesn't concern you. Leave her alone or you'll answer to me. <laughs> Time to teach you all a lesson. All right. Thousand cuts. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Take that. Alright, so this is clearly going to be another follower for us. Oh no, why did I even think that was a good idea? Oh well, either way we won. Sounds of battle. I got here as fast as I could. This guy's always late to everything. Hui, what are you doing here? It's been a long time, Zoo. This guy just knows everybody. That night, I did as you asked. The child is safe. I made sure of that. I know. After we spoke, I followed you. I, I wanted to be sure she was given a good home. You did well, Hui. Uh, you know each other? We and I knew each other long ago. She was a soldier, and I, I needed her help. There was a child, an orphan. I knew we could find a good home for her. That wasn't us, was it? Um, who was this child? She was just a girl. Her parents were dead. I couldn't look after her, and I knew Hui by reputation. I knew she would find a good home for her. Where's this child now? She's safe. That's all you need to know. She doesn't concern you. Besides, we don't have time to worry about something that happened almost 20 years ago. Yes, those are old worries. Thank you for your actions today. Even if these men were no real threat, just simple sailors frustrated at the shallow river that holds them here. There are pirates in the area, and they pose a far greater danger. You will likely encounter them, especially if you are the one I am waiting for. As Sagacious Zoo mentioned, my name is Hui. Tell me, young woman, what is your master's name? I trained under Master Lee of Two Rivers. Or should we tell them it was Sun Lee, the glorious strategist? I have waited here many years for the arrival of one special fighter. Your master, Sun Lee, bid me to wait until you, his protege, came seeking information. So it's true. Master Lee really is the Emperor's brother. I wish... I wish I had known... <laughs> okay. He is gone, isn't he? Taken by the Lotus Assassins just as he thought. He knew they were always searching. They are right to fear him and his legacy. The glorious strategist was certain the path to the Imperial City would bring you here. He was also very specific about how I present my information to you. You must be ready. I am ready. Master Lee told me 
who he was because I am his student. How do you know? He must have given his orders long ago. You are very loyal or foolish. This is too convenient. Master Lee could not anticipate I would crash here. All right, let's go with the first one. I served under Sun Lee and was one of a few soldiers he trusted enough to contact after Dirge fell. Lee knew the events there would have great consequences. He told me of the weeks-long siege and how spirit monks were slaughtered so his brother could take their temple. It was madness. The Emperor killed the water dragon itself. Ooh. The water dragon. The shepherd of the dead, a goddess of rebirth. To try and steal her power, to even think it could be attempted. Has any mortal ever shown such arrogance? Yes. Such a crime against uh, order would not go unnoticed. Um, arrogance, yes, but also audacious? <laughs> no. <laughs> there are many beings that exist beyond our experience. The heavens are governed by a celestial bureaucracy. Each facet of existence is managed by a specialized attendant. Most appear to have little influence, but some, like the Water Dragon, have a portfolio that grants exceptional status. She was said to have governance over the Great Wheel. She was not a maker, but all life that ended passed her gaze before returning to the Earth in another form. Sun High sought rebirth for his empire at the cost of the natural order. What a fool. Her body was taken to the palace as a grim trophy of the power that ended the long drought. All the while, the people hailed the Emperor as a hero, ignorant of the price. Alright, the Emperor destroyed my people to take the Water Dragon's power. This act by the Emperor is why Master Li went into hiding. How could the Emperor kill a god? The Water Dragon's power was tied to her temple at Dirge and the strength of her servants. When the spirit monks were slain and Dirge fell, she became vulnerable. Her physical form could be injured, but she was also a god. Maybe her spirit still exists. I don't know, I'm no expert on the heavens. All right, so the emperor destroyed my people to take the water dragon's power. Even a god is not invincible. They have their place and it can be challenged. Sun Li could not stop the slaughter of the spirit monks. He fled the battle with you in his arms. Most believe Sun Li fell at Dirge, a lie spread by the Emperor. A handful of us knew that he lived, and we also learned the terrible price of his rebellion. Li's wife was with child, his daughter born in the Imperial Palace while he was at Dirge. He never saw her. Within weeks of the siege, the Emperor had Li's family executed. <laughs> executed? Murdered? The Lotus Assassins were to cut them down. A mother and newborn child. I have no doubt that order came from Death's hand himself. No what? No wonder Master Li hates the Emperor. I can't believe Master Li abandoned his family. He probably didn't think his family would be harmed, but even had he known, he might still have saved you. Lee knows you have a destiny to fulfill. You're the last of your kind. The natural order has been disrupted. There is much to say, but first, I was instructed to impart some very specific knowledge. Your master was very clear. Oh, I thought that was the knowledge. You can trust Hui, so I don't think there's any reason for me to stick around. I'll be back at the camp if you need me. Zhu is an honorable man. Not a good man, perhaps, but an honorable one. Now to your training. A brief description will reinforce in your mind the style you saw me use. All right. I am always ready to learn. Certain lessons had to be withheld until you were ready for the attention they will bring. Sun Li taught me so that I would teach you. I must train you in Spirit Thief. <laughs> spirit Thief. Magic and weapons tire you. Draw on them too much and you could be left defenseless. 
Spirit Thief restores your chi, prolonging your ability to fight or ignore wounds. It is especially useful when enemies are immune to basic martial attacks, when you must use magic or weapons. It can even immobilize a foe, allowing time to recover even more. This short lesson should be enough for now. Come speak with me in the tea house. We will talk of your master and more. Nice. So we gained a new style. God, we're gaining a lot of styles lately. I don't even know what styles to focus on and what styles not to focus on. Oh, looks like Dawnstar wants to talk. Is there anything you need? I'll do whatever I can to help. Or maybe she doesn't. I am interested in how you are, Dawnstar. Is there anything bothering you? No, I didn't have anything pressing on my mind. Although your company is always welcome. We seem so far from anything familiar. Strange enemies, troubling plots. I will be glad when we can leave this place to find Master Lee. Yes, yes. Alright, goodbye for now. Be well, my we'll talk to her in another video because, Jesus, it feels like we've been doing nothing but talk, 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 talk to everybody. You're a stranger here, aren't you? I know everyone in Tian's Landing and I've never seen you before. I would remember you. Yes, we're new. You should turn right around and leave this town. Trust me. Okay. Who are you? I am Gufu, Great One. Some call me Gufu the Sweet, though I don't know why. I usually smell like the fish I sell. Gufu. Perhaps they are making fun of me. But now, there are no fish to sell. I have lived in Tian's Landing all my life, but now... I'm ashamed to say I wish I lived somewhere else. Why do you wish that? Everything in Tian's Landing is falling apart. Sheng, the local minister, is helpless to deal with all our troubles. You should get out while you can. Oh, uh, even though we already know about the troubles here, we're gonna ask anyway. You don't know? The Great Dam has been opened, and now the river's level has dropped. It's too low and fast to navigate. Without the river, we are nothing. The merchants can't buy goods from the Imperial City. The traders can't sell to the outside world. The men cannot fish, and our children go hungry. Wah, wah. And if that wasn't bad enough, we have the pirates to worry about, too. They've been raiding the countryside, taking prisoners to sell into slavery. Not slavery? We've already asked these questions. I feel like we don't need to ask him again. Mm. Goodbye. Take care of yourself, stranger, and be glad that you do not live in Tian's Landing. I feel like a lot of these questions are just the same, you know, rehashed questions that we get, that we answered Steve earlier. All right, the shadow in the trees. Travelers in the great southern forest often report strange sightings and bizarre phenomena. Aside from the hospitality of Pilgrim's Rest Inn, the forest is nearly entirely wilderness. And the verdant canopy of the forest hides wonderful and fearsome creatures, unlike any seen anywhere else in the Empire. The strangest tales are those of a shadow among the trees that seems to follow visitors to the forest. Philosophers hoping to reflect in, pe in the peace of the forest often report feeling watched, and patrons of the Pilgrim's Rest Inn claim to have seen a strange silhouette darting among the trees. Despite the apparently otherworldly nature of this figure, those who witness it sense no aggression and attribute it to the mysteries of the forest. Hmm. It seems like quite a prominent structure. Yes, yes, it is a nice structure, isn't it? Hey, look, this lady's got something for us. What's wrong with you? Why are you crying? Please, please excuse me. I, I know I shouldn't be crying in public like this, but I just, I just can't help it. What's the matter? What's wrong? Please, I'm just a humble woman. My name is Seamstress Lawn, and I have a problem I don't know how to solve. I thought, I thought you could help, but I was afraid to speak to you. Okay. It's my fiance, Baker Bay. Every day a group of Baker thugs Bay. attacks him and beats him up. He tries to <laughs> that's avoid a, that's them, but a they nice find one. him wherever he goes. The beatings are getting worse. I'm I'm terrified they're going to kill him. After I saw you take on those sailors, I thought Well Well 
Uh, there's got to be more to this story. Right? But there isn't! My poor Bay has done nothing to these men. They attack him for no reason at all. Please, you have to help him. I beg you. Hmm. Okay. I'll take care of those thugs for you. I knew you'd understand being a woman. Being Thank a woman. You, my lady. <laughs> if our firstborn is a girl, she shall have your name. Yes. Bay is down at Beggar's Pier right now in the southeast corner of town. If you hurry, you can probably get there before the thugs attack him today. You know, I just realized, too, that I made my own name in this game, so she's going to name her firstborn Soda-chan. Or was it Soda-chin? I can't remember now. Wow. Is every other thing you open in this game a trap? A bar of nickel iron. I don't know why we would need these, like, random assortment of things. It's gonna be a bomb. Nope, just four silver. Is this the guy? Dishwasher Wong? You really shouldn't be here. Mr. Tay does not like others to observe him working. Is this Mr. Tay? Hello, Tay. Who let you back here? Bad enough I must work with incompetence. I don't need you walking through my kitchen. Unless, ah, uh, pretty lady. Pretty you come lady. to take me from this existence of pain with your considerable charms. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, buddy. Yeah, me too. Okay, Mr. Tay. Step back, Mr. Wong. You just step back. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is not an appropriate greeting, Cook. You will show me the proper respect, dog. I uh, did not mean to disturb you. A polite response from one of you strangers? Go on. Don't waste your respect on me. I'm no high minister. I just cook. Why does he sound evil? What do you know about the spirit world? <laughs> Such a random question. I want to ask something about you. Me? There's nothing to know about me. I cook for ungrateful people who do not understand what good food is. Okay. Your palate is very sophisticated, Mr. Tay. Some say your dishes are, uh, acquired tastes. No, no, I am quite certain that the problem is with the customers. If you wish to keep your position, Mr. Wong, you will smile and nod. You are very harsh with your assistant. Mr. Wong is here to cut the vegetables and heft the rice bags. His job does not include criticizing the menu. I am the head chef. He is nothing. So nobody Can telling worry. nobody else. I will train hard to become the best chef I can. There's a small chance he could become slightly more than nothing, but I've seen no sign of it as yet. Some people are heroes. Some merely clap as heroes walk by. Okay, I need information about Tian's Landing, or what do you know about the spirit world? Eh, let's just say I'm leaving now. Good, I need to concentrate on the menu. If you want to eat, you'll leave me alone. That was a bit of a change in attitude from earlier. He was like praising me. Okay, didn't mean to do that. All right. You know what? I think it's a good of a time as uh, than ever to just go ahead and end it here. So I'm going to end it right in front of the tea house because in the next video we're gonna go there. Oh, did we open this? No, I guess we can't. Or what about these? Nope. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll solve the mystery of this weird Tian's landing and get the waters to rise in the next video, or at least we'll get to do some side quests. We'll see what goes on. But thanks for watching and peace.